Okay, so day two of owning the GT18 Hydro, and let's do a cold start. Let's see how how easy she'll start up. Got fuel in the filter, that's good. Give it a choke. Half throttle or so. In neutral. Let's see what she does. I'm very, very, very impressed with that. That is extremely good. Extremely good. It means the fuel pump's good. Which means one more thing to fix. <coughs> yeah, let's get her out and pull her into the next bay and do some work. go so I'm just gonna do some work on it for a little bit and uh, see what I can do I think the first thing I want to address is um, seeing if I can't figure out how to tighten up the linkage on the hydro because it seems like I need to move it about halfway for it to move and I'd like to get control of some of these um, slower speeds so I'm gonna take a look at that and uh, be back in a bit well, I got some good work done. Uh, for starters, I flipped the tires back the way they should be um, so that they don't stick out quite as much. You'll notice that the uh, 2310s that are stock in the GT versus the 2310-50s that are an inch wider than stock on the 16 stick out about the same, which is good. Um, I wasn't able to figure out how to tighten up the hydro linkage. I'm going to have to do some more in-depth looking and, you know, take out the battery again and just kind of see how it all pieces together. But I think there's um, some uh, tie rod end type joints that are just, you know, worn and loose from it being, you know, 30, 33 years old. Um, but, you know, everything's good. It's running good. It's running awesome, actually.
I uh, figured out how to how the bypass valve works. It's actually really cool. Um, this little doohickey here is actually kind of used as a tool. And inside here, there's a little um, wheel that opens and closes the valve, and there's little notches cut in it. And what you do is you actually press this in and use it to uh, open and close the valve. But anyway, that's it for now. And uh, look forward to some snow plowing action soon. We're supposed to be getting some snow tomorrow, so yeah, see you then.